All right, this is the time that um what up, Philly in the building? What up? My home to sound Philly. Told you you can take me out of Philly, but I'm still Philly, babe. <laughs> you can take me take me out of Philly, but I'm always Philly. Okay. So um so Let's do the roll call, baby. Recently, we got in. Where are we tuning that from? My mic's good. My mic good. All right, y'all. Where are we tuning that from? Come on. To disagree, travel the world's seven seas. Everybody's search for something. Riverside. Don't forget to hit the like button. Please support this show, y'all. Please. Okay. We could do a sponsored thing, man, and make it happen. You know, have fun, B. It's 956 over here. In Africa, it's all good. It's all good. But come on, I'm going to give the roll calls out. Where y'all at? To disagree, travel the world in the seven seas. Everybody's. What up, peoples? Where y'all tuning in from? Where we at? Y'all scared to tell me? I see my brother, my brother Jamal. Riverside, baby. What's up? Charleston, what's up? What it do? Y'all scared? It's okay. What time is it on it? What time is it in the States, y'all? What time is it in the States? Memphis, Tennessee. What up, Kenneth? What it do? I know you got some you got some stalkers on the feed too. They're sitting back there trying to figure out what is he going to talk about. Listen, y'all have no idea the, the amount of information that I love coming back here and getting. It's crazy. Trust me. And shout out to Karen, Percy, Edna. They're literally getting this firsthand. They, they're getting something that y'all will probably never see unless you come on with Sabir. Unless you come with me, y'all may get it, baby. Maybe. Come on, y'all. We, we, we want some more people to come on the feed, y'all. Let's go. Give me one second. We are live right now. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Give me your time. Somebody said it's 357, 2 o'clock in Cali, H-Town. What up, what up, what up? 458. Come on, man. Where y'all at? Muslims is Muslims. Is, we we could have killed the Muslim part, though. I understand. We could have killed the Muslim part, but it's all love. Um, it's 4:58. Islam people's shot town in the building. What's up, April? What it do? Are y'all sharing this out? Come on, baby. Shout out to my sister April and the shy. Got Mike playing ahead. They got Mike.
they got Mike up in this camp, boy. Y'all better stop playing. We can get my Michael Jackson on up in this camp, boy. Don't play with me. Come on, y'all. Let's go. Don't forget to hit the like button as soon as you come on the feed. And if y'all love the content I'm going to give you, please support it, y'all. It's only a little bit. Y'all can do tips like they do out here. Y'all can go do tips. PayPal, Cash App, and Zelly. You can go tip. Come on. I got a whole bunch of wood. I just bought a whole bunch of stuff today and yesterday. So come on. Shout out to everybody I just met. I tell y'all, where Karen and I went at, whoo, you moved to Morocco, I'm always in Morocco. Come on, y'all. Let's go. Let's have some fun, baby. Live from Morocco, baby. Listen, Karen, I'm going to share this with y'all. I'm going to put my link up here. They are experiencing something that y'all will probably never experience in your life. I'm dead serious. So come on, y'all. Share it out. Come on. I'm not going to start until y'all share it out. Let's go. I'm going to put my link up here, too. Come on, y'all. Let's go. Let's get these educated black folks on. Somebody send us the Dr. Greg card, too. Let's go. Share this to Dr. Greg card. What up, what up? Shout out to all my family I just met. Come on, y'all. Let's share it out. I'm not going to start yet. Let's go. Y'all can hit my link if you want to come on and talk to me. Hit the link. Where y'all tuning in from? You just coming on. Let me know where y'all tuning in from. Damn, that's killing, man. God darn. I thought I was going to rock out. So listen, um, I don't know what y'all doing, but I'm going to rock out with y'all for a minute. Again, don't forget to, to share these videos out. And if you want to jump on the feed, come on the feed and talk with me. And let me tell you something, the crazy part. Texas in the building. What up, Texas? What time is it is in Texas, fam? What time is it in Texas? So, um, oh, I got my brother Dre is always in the building. What's up, brother Dre? You always in the building, bro. What it do? What's up, Samir? How you doing? Just got back from Fez, man. <laughs> we back How in Rabat. We, we back in. It's always good, man. You know, I'm always there, man. You know, it's funny, like, people don't realize, like, it's about two hours and some change to go from Rabat to Fez. We just did a turnaround. Bam, bam. Went to the University of Gatoine. Real quick. Yeah. So, yeah, we did, did a turnaround. And um, that was Karen and I'm first time. What's up, Musa? That was her first time, Percy's first time, and Edna's first time. And let me tell you something, the crazy part about this, bro, it's it's amazing. Like, and, and everywhere we go, if I start talking to people, right, they will literally get up and say, y'all are the original, the original Moroccans. I swear to God, Dre, it's crazy. But for some odd reason, people in the States don't want to have this conversation, but they be running from this like the plague. It's COVID, brother. It's COVID. But... It was it was funny because I met 
more brothers out here. And the more they see me like this, and, and I covered another rally too, if y'all go to my Instagram. Go to my Instagram. And, and I'm not getting paid for this. I covered two rallies for Palestine out here. Two rallies. I'm not even not. Who else goes I around? Saw, I saw it. I saw one of them. You saw it, right? You saw the one yesterday, probably. Let me tell you the one yesterday. Yeah, I saw, I saw one of them still. Let me tell you what it was yesterday, right? So they had the United States banner up there with coffins. Like, you know how they got the stars? They had the banners with coffins in that mother. I said, nigga, please. <laughs> Yo. Yo. That was good. Then it was one today. Let me see if I can pull one up from the day. Give me one second. This is the one from the day. Now, who in the States is going global doing this, bro? Look. Hold up. This is the this is the rally for Palestine today. Let me see if I can move it, move it up. Hold on. That's the rally for the day. I don't know if you can see it, but that's the rally for the day of Palestine. And you notice I'm in the crowd, right? Okay. I'm not standing away from nobody. I'm literally in the crowd with everybody. I don't know what might kick off, but you literally see me in the crowd with everyone. Yesterday I was, and today I was. This is actually in Rabat. In Rabat. I want y'all to see what journalism is about. What y'all see? This is before we went to Rabat, to Fez. Anybody wants to come on my feed, come on my feed. Listen, anybody wants something that you want, bring it to the cypher, baby. So that was today, right? That was the day at the rally. And it was so funny as I'm in the crowd and it was a whole lot of police around. How do I know it was going to kick off? Nigga, I'm me. I'm from South Philadelphia, bro. And if you, I'm sorry if you don't like it, it's your business. But I was in a crowd yesterday and today. But yesterday, the wild part about this, they had, with you know how the stars on the flag, on the banner? And it's not a flag in the United States, it's a banner. It had coffins on the joint yesterday. All for Palestine, right? And I'm sitting there, and they, I forgot I have my kafaya on my head. So if anybody don't think I live this life for real, I live it for real, for real. So this is before we went overseas. Please, people, stop typing and get some balls and come on the feed. Please get some balls and come on the feed, okay? Stop typing. It's okay. We got my brother Musa in here from, um, from where you at, Musa? UK? UK, London, England. How can my man be in from London, England, and it's 2 or 3 o'clock on the East Coast and niggas be hiding? I don't, I'm just going to ask Sabir, baby, million and one to the 52,000 questions. But I'm not going to get on the feed, though. I'm, I'm not going to get on the feed, though. I'm going to keep crushing him. No, this is what you could do. You can email me and set up a lecture whenever I come back. Y'all don't need it when I come back. You just want to see me pop up back. So the crazy part was I was at both rallies out here yesterday and today. And it was so freaking crazy, bro. Like, you know how you get submerged in this, brother? It was so, like, I'm literally talking to the people, bro. Like, talking to the people. And, and it's, like, amazing how it was whoever you are jabari i don't even know who this person is but please show me your face i don't have time for no children games brother you want children game you got to go on sonetta channel okay so the whole time we here right the whole time we here like people when you know who you are they will literally sit up oh what's up this jabril bro oh jabril Live. what's up yeah what's up jabril Peace. What's peace. up, man? Just waking up, man. What's up with you, bro? I'm out over here. It's like 10 10 over here, 10 10 p.m. So, okay. 
just getting back from I'm, I'm just listening in. No doubt. I thought you were my stalker, brother. My bad. But I got a oh, no problem. I, no, I got a stalker, brother. This is insane. So he he likes to he likes to show it like a piece of like a whatever this AI thing now, right? And then they show you a girl or a guy or a dude playing with itself. Nigga, this ain't the channel we do that on. But that's what <laughs> right. I swear to God. Okay. Listen, wow. he, never, he never have the heart to come on, bro. But he always got to do something stupid. And this is why I said the sickness in our people, brother, is insane. The sickness is really insane, bro. And, I, you know, I, you can't help him, bro. You just can't help. You got to. Why are you laughing, Musa? You got a grin on your face, bro. <laughs> I, I, I see because uh, you know it is because um people are like i said people before the people are traumatized people are traumatized I, I, no it's too much sugar in the brain it's too i think it's too much sugar. yeah that 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 too but where there's a lack of direction a lack of enlightenment a lack of purpose the opposite is self-destruction and retardation there's nothing feeding their brain, so they feed yeah, it right with there, um, yeah, you see it right there. That's him right there. You see what I'm saying? 15 minutes, okay. See what I'm saying? I need y'all to uh, see what's going on. You, but Jabril, you see what I'm talking about? But he would never yeah. ever come on the feed, brother. And this is the problem. I don't care uh, if I do this, if I went to bed and woke up, or, or if I was back home at four o'clock in the morning, he would be on it like a stalker, like a mug. I swear to God. And I want y'all to realize how sick we truly are, bro. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's, 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 it's an embarrassment that the world is actually watching us, even other people. You know why they don't care? Because they don't travel. So, but the image that we put out to the world, right? The image that we put out to the world. Yes, right. Us. You follow me? Right. I'm a grown right. man, right? And if I got beef with anybody, I'm going to come address you. I'm not going to have nobody speaking for Sabir Bay. Sabir Bay can speak for Sabir Bay, and I will never. And I can bring up a million names if I choose to. That's all they got to do is share. That's the true. cheapest thing to do is to share it. You follow me? But the true, crazy true. part is being here, brother, and talking to the people, it was it was crazy because everybody knew that we were Moors, bro. Everybody. Every without paying for a blue check, without telling you your best person, I'm the most requested around the world person, without talking about how much money we have. This Moorish information is insane, bro. It's insane. Mm -hmm. Question me. got a question for you, Sabir. Sure. Do you think that we could do you think, yeah, with this type of momentum, you can create a Moorish movement in Morocco? Yes, you can. Oh, no doubt. It's all it's already rotating. Listen, if you know how many of them brothers are following me, right? From Casablanca, Tangiers, Robot, Fez, these are all the places I've been within a couple of days, brother. And let Ooh. me tell you something. I'm 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 gonna be 100 with y'all. We're not even done yet. You be so and I'm not sitting in no vacation spots. We inside, and anybody know my sister, she's from Robot, she's on here, and she can come on the feed too. If you know anything, and, and I've recorded a lot of stuff, if y'all know anything about the Medinas, the Medina, the Medinas in Morocco or in Tan, in um um Tunis, dude, it's not like you walking down the beach, my bro. I'm gonna keep it 100 with you. I'm not gonna lie. So for me to be in these places and talk to these people and hold conversations with them, no matter where I'm at, that's the movement, bro. They not they don't care about how much money you think that you have, bro. They don't they don't care how many degrees you have because we don't even know the oldest university is right here where I'm where in Morocco. Mm -hmm. The oldest university in the world is right here. And as I was there today, right, I asked Edna, I said, Edna, do you think any of the black conscious people that you know, do you think they will ever walk through here? She was laughing. She said, Nope. Nope, they wouldn't walk through where we were walking at. But let me give a shout out to my brother on here. Let me give a shout out to this particular brother. He said, happy, happy holy day, Moorish Mountain. I'm, he said, I lost my job and found my work. So I good. He said, I say good. Thank brother. Thank you. Because I would obviously lose your job and find your work. And then every last one of us. So no shot, no doubt, brother. So he just actually shared this with me. And I'm, I'm going to share this out to y'all. So because he's watched my videos and that's the impact that you want to have on people. 
That's the impact that you can That's walk right. the street, talk to people. And he actually hit me up and told me this. That was crazy. Mm -hmm. He just hit me up and told me this. So you don't hear me talking. I'm the best and I know everything. And listen, and niggas get mad from one word and then run with it. But when I tell you to come to the feed, you're going to hide behind social media. <laughs> Your work is your work. Your work is very impressive, Sabir, because you travel. Indeed, man. real learn. You gotta give credit where it's due, man. You actually get out there. A lot of people is not gonna do that. Sabir's no, that been rally, in the game a long rally, time. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you how crazy the rally was. Let me tell you what the rally rap. Karen didn't even want to go near the rally. They didn't want to go because if you would, it, it, honestly, it could look intimidating. I ain't gonna lie. But they had the gear. They had the gear, but I ain't gonna lie. They had. <laughs> when I say gear, they had the bulletproof joints, the hats, so like, and I moved through all the crowds. Let me see if I can. If you go watch the video on TikTok, I mean, you Instagram, you actually see them. But it was funny as I'm walking through the crowds and they're greeting me. And I said, I'm, I'm telling them, I'm, I'm a journalist, brother. I'm a journalist from, I didn't even want to say, this is what person said, don't tell them where you're from, though. He said, don't tell them you're from America. That's what he got. He said, don't tell them you're from America, bro. I said, I said, no, I am in America, but I'm not a United States. Because the climate that they're creating in the States is going to make it unsafe for a lot of people. I'm going to be real with you. Because they're looking at Israel in the United States. Negroes ain't really trying to fight nothing, brother. They're really not. I'm dead serious. They're not. <laughs> so my thing is like, you can pump all your fists and talk about white supremacy, the black man is, and the black man God, and Come on. Okay. So, um, brother, I'm going to give you one more chance to come on the feed, your fake page. If not, I'm going to get rid of you. Okay. It's all good. This is 10 o'clock over here for me. I'm, I'm fine. What you doing with your day? <laughs> what are you doing with your day? Okay. All right. So hit the link and come on the feed. So let's go here for a second. They keep playing Billy Jean up in this gym. What's up with that, man? So let me show you where I was at today, bro. Let me show you the sister, first of all. And tell me what the sister looks like. This is inside the Medina. Does she look like somebody's sister, brother? Look what she holding in her hand. She said, it's a lot of Moors that's in America. This is what she said. With feathers on. Look what she holding in her hand. Oh. I'm starting to trouble. With. You see all the books that I travel with? Look at the books in my hand and the book right here, The Moors of Tangiers. She said, yes. You see the book? The Moors of Tangiers. Oh, what's she look like, bro? She's darker than me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Look what she She was reading the books like, oh. She looked Berber. Yes. That's what she is. I told him I was Amazigh. Oh, perfect. Those are the indigenous people. The original. Oh, I was up in the mountains, bro. I was up there. That was a while ago. I'm, I've been over here for the past eight years going up there. Wow. Eight years. This ain't nothing new to me. I've been going over here for eight and a half years. So she's holding the book, right? And as we're sitting here talking, and I said, you look like my sister. Let me show you my sister, bro. I can't make this up. I'm going to show you my she two looks, sisters. She looks like my mother. <laughs> but see, yeah. this is the part. This is the thing that they don't show y'all in the States, but they got you thinking it's somebody else, but they know the history. And this is why I said without nobody's paying $100,000, right? No, not paying a white man's blue check to influence people, because that's what y'all doing in the States, playing for a blue check to get influence, right? So just because of this, now let me go a little further. Let me show you what my sisters look like. We're not mixed with anything, but I'm going to show you my sisters. Tell me if she don't look like my sister. Give me one second. These are my sisters right there, both of them. The dark skin one is my oldest sister. That's my other sister too. Oh, that sister look just like my sister. Wow. These are my two sisters. Look like they could be my aunties, bro. Same mother, same father, same grandmother, same grandmother, same grandfather. We all the same. So these okay. are my two sisters. So I was telling the sister out here in Rabat, I said, you look like my sister. <laughs> Beautiful. So Beautiful. The, 
and this is why I said we were we chased behind some of the silliest things ever without educating our people on what's going on. I no said, doubt. and I'm gonna ask y'all this question again for the educated people. And I need y'all to share this out to all the conscious channel because I do I don't want to stay on here all night long because I do want to, you know, I do want to go rest because I am going to get on a train or get a car ride and we're gonna go back to Tangiers after this. So, you know. Yeah, we rolling like that. Tangiers right after this. We just got back from Fez. But I was telling her she looks like my sister. These are my oldest sisters. So the wild part is, as I'm sitting there talking to her and pulling out books and sharing this with her, right? And they ain't no joke. Let me tell you, my sisters ain't no joke, bro. Neither one of them. The light-skinned one is a little different than the dark-skinned one. She's more rougher. She's the oldest one. She's, man. But anyway. So anyway, I was at the, and I'm going to ask y'all this question before we start. So please hit the like button, y'all. Please hit the share button. We don't want nobody to come on late saying nothing stupid. And brother, if you got a problem with severe beta, let's jump on the feed. Personal attacks doesn't bother me, homie. I'm a grown man. Okay, I'm a grown man. If I take, if I could take five bullets, I definitely can take your lazy, scary ass hot behind social media. <laughs> so I'm being 100, brother. So the crazy part is, what is the oldest university in the world? Raise your hand. I did this yesterday. For y'all to know it, they've been watching my videos. Morocco. No, bro. You can't. You already you watch my videos. I want the people that never watch my videos to bring it up. Veronica, what's up? Okay. For all the conscious people, y'all need to share this to sign another channel real fast. Should I play this? Hold up. Hold up, bro. I got to do this. Mm -hmm. I got to do this, bro. All right, we're going to start this all over again. Give me one minute. One it second. It takes a minute to get the fire. <laughs> I gotta put something up, bro. Be with me. We're in Africa. The internet is acting kind of funny, but I'm not in a 10 star hotel, okay? But I'm comfortable. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to say this one more time. What is the oldest university in the world? Hurry up and see this to sign that a channel and I'm right now. Hurry up. Let's get it to sign that in the channel. Hurry up. Stop typing, brother, because I'm getting tired of you. I'm great. Get rid of you, homie. It's all love, fam, because you add nothing to this platform. Nobody wants to hear your craziness, okay? Nobody's interested. You need to go get a girlfriend and have some children, homie. It's all good. <laughs> Damn, Internet is a mother. Yes. <laughs> Come on, what's the oldest university? So we got all these people here we don't know. He's over here talking about somebody being gay, brother. And I'm just trying to figure out why don't he just come on the feed? Come on, brother. It's okay. So I'm, I'll put it up here for you because this is the most attention you're going to get. Come on, baby. Let's go. It's okay. It's all right, brother. You need a hug. He need a hug, man. Damn. It's okay. I ain't going to call you out your name. I'm going to hurt you by not calling you out your name. But I will call you out to come on the feed. That's what I would do. So the oldest university, right, is by a woman. By a woman. So let me share this with y'all. Ain't that and it's embarrassing, man. I want y'all to see how embarrassing this is for this cat to be on my feed. <laughs> so let's move forward, y'all. And you give him the floor, he still run. So it's by the sister right here, brother. Jabril, you see it? Indeed. Wow, so, Fatima. <laughs> This is what hurts these people's feelings, right? 
So in the ninth century, this is older than Timbuktu, brother. And this is a story behind Timbuktu that I found when I was out in Morocco, too. So if I'm wrong about anything, come on the feed, baby. Look, not only. Hold up. My Internet is acting up, y'all. So bear with me. Let's go back. Oh, I see it. Perfect. That's see the reason perfect? why they wear fezzes. Yeah, that's the reason why they wear fezzes and the fez during graduation. The fez exactly. is of Morocco from the same exactly. university. And the scroll Thank comes you. from that same university. Every so high school in America. Happened, every high school in America. And let me tell you what it's called for my educated people. It look like I'm in, in a tomb, don't it? Damn. But, but <laughs> it's called a mortar board. It's called a mortar board. Uh, mortar. Look it up. Look up mortar board. So indeed. what it is, it's 360, right? You turn the tassel from mm. one side to the other side. You see how all this goes back mm. to Islam again? Mm -hmm. So the oldest mm -hmm. university is by her. So how many of y'all knew that was by a sister? Come on, talk to me. It's okay, y'all. Y'all send y'all children to school, right? How many of y'all knew that? Peace, family. How many of y'all knew that? Peace. Woo. Whoever keeps Bye. you talk, come on. Talk, come on the feed. That's all the only way you're going to talk is to come on the feed. Okay? So it was the mosque of the university and library she founded in the ninth century. Still operating. I was there today again. So I'm going to show y'all, okay? During the golden age. Here it is. Oh, it's beautiful in here, brother. Oh, it's so beautiful in here. But they ain't gonna tell you all that though. Oh, I, oh, I got a picture at the 30, top too, right? 30,000 volumes. What library you brother, know in your neighborhood got over 30,000 right now? Brother, listen, 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 listen to me, homie. Let me see if I can find this photo. I'm gonna pull something up, but you see that rooftop, right? So bear with me one second. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna pull something up for you, if I can. Give me one second. And people be like, why do you still be helping our people, Sabir? I'll be like, I don't know, because we do have a sickness though. Indeed. Maybe that's what, we do have a sickness, bro. It is, we do have a sickness. Let me see if I can pull this photo up, bro. Give me one second. It ain't everybody, but it's just a few people that want to keep us where we at. Oh, I think I already got it. Give me one second, bro. Give me one second. Give me one second. 4678. 4678. One second. What is six seventy eight? One minute. Be patient with me, yo. But I'm just getting back. Okay, so let me get these people on the feed. Give me one minute. Whoever this is, but I don't know who it is, but I don't know who this person is. Show me your face. You got a high on there, and I don't know who Donald Waters is, Walter is, but um, you got to show me your face before you come on this feed because you know you click on these faces and niggas be having penises up here. We don't, this is not the show for that. Okay. So if you don't show me your face, I'm fine. It's all good family. So you won't be coming on. All right, just sit back. So you see this building right here, right? No, it's not St. Croix. I want y'all to look it up. Okay. Please look it up. Good God almighty. I'll be doing the work for y'all P. Okay. So Look it up. 
You see it? So pay attention, my brother. I want you to see the building, right? Give me one second. You see the rooftop? You see that? Well, let me show you. Here you go. So let's go back. And if you research where it's at, you're going to be like, damn, you went up there? Yeah, I went there a couple of times. You see it right there? You see where I'm standing at? <laughs> Here it is. I'm going to go a little further. You see it, Dre? Yeah, I see it. Okay. Beautiful. So that's the same thing that you're looking at in that particular picture. Nah, it is the exact tone. Wow. Even the color on the rooftop. Yeah. I'm not going to show the recordings when I was in there. I did a little live video. If you go to my Instagram, I did a little live in there. So I'm going to show y'all for the record. Give me one second. So that's on the top, right? So I'm just going to show you the pictures on the inside. So you can look up the University of Catawain yourself. So let's go here for a minute. This is on the inside, bro. And, it, and when I tell you, look how that look. Still functioning to this day. The oldest university in the world. Wow. Incredible. Right? Bro, let me tell you, you ain't seen nothing yet. Let me just show you. And I'm and I'm going to put a whole video together on this. I've been recording. I've like been recording like so here you go so again. here you go again i got feedback on somebody. i got feedback on somebody mute your mics mute your mics y'all mute your mics so you see it right there so now there you go so we always keep talking about ten buck two, right ten buck two ten buck two there it is right here do you think they want to have this conversation jabril you think they would like to have this conversation? Oh, we lose ten bucks too. I don't buck. think so. They, they're running right now. They're running scared. Because this, yeah. Oh, I'm gonna show you some more. I'm gonna show you how crazy this is to the point that I know they wouldn't walk through here. Give me one second. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. All right. Give me one minute. I said I'm. I'm not gonna show you all the photos, but I'm just gonna show you how this thing looks. Mm -hmm. Before you get to this, it's not like you can, it's on the outside. Y'all can look it up. This is not the outside. Oh, no. It's not like you walk, you get off a plane and go directly there, bro. You got to go, wow. man. Listen, ask Percy. I'm going to see if Percy can get on the phone. He'll probably tell you. He might be watching this. Give me one second. Well, look, if you could, we could go to google earth right now from the satellite and i'm looking at it like you said and it's it's not yeah. like that and with a clear image it's, it's beautiful like you said straight from the satellite the google satellite. i'm gonna show you what you got to walk through though before you even get there no doubt Woo. this is hot now, now let me show you something bro this is what you got to walk through before you even get there One second. One second. So, did they tell you how much work it it took to put in, how much time and labor? Yeah, it's it's, it's it was a lot, but she built this. She took her money. But look, you see, I'm I'm gonna see if I can give you this. Look at this, look at this, bro. Give me one second. Mm -hmm. One second. Let's pull this up. Where's my okay? Here it is, right here. Give me one second. So you have to walk through this right, right here. I'm just show you, I'm just show you a couple of pictures of how small we had to walk through these places. Damn, where's it at? Okay, here it is. Can you see it? Yes. So wow. imagine walking, imagine walking through something like that very narrow too hold up you ain't seen nothing yet bro <laughs> nothing is that so, an incline is it going down here 
Yeah. Woo. And you had to walk back, you walk back up. Wow. So this that is what is. so the whole time I'm in there, I'm filming this and I'm taking pictures at the same time. Right? I'm gonna give you another one. Mm -hmm. Watch this. I'm gonna give you another one. They would never have found this. They would the people that you sit up here and talk about universe, they would never have found this place, 5914. Because this is where it's at. Right in the Medina. Exactly. You need to probably exactly. take to take the head off. <laughs> Pretty much Going over there. Pretty much. That's what they probably did. They playing cool in the goddamn game. They playing cool in the gang in here. Mm -hmm. So give me, I'm gonna show you. I'm not gonna show you all my photos that I took, and I'm gonna do different things with these photos. This is leaving from the Medina. I mean, from the, the university. One second. One second. So this is another one as I'm walking through. One minute. I'm gonna post it up here so you can see it. What's up, brother Fletch? Hope you're doing good, bro. That's another one. This is what it looks like. <laughs> I swear, bro. Oh, narrow, narrow as hell. And it's more that I got to show you. It's narrower, it's more narrower than this right here. So this is leaving the wow. university. So these are the things that you got to go through when you're doing this. Was was she black? Wow. He just asked me. Was she black? <laughs> Is this a fake page or not? She, Naeem, you want to come on the feed, brother? You want to? Did he just? Yo, who the? <laughs> yo, brother, who the hell is? Black? They got all fudged up in the states, bro. I swear to God, damn, he didn't say that. He's not a he. He can't have that ill and say no stuff like that, y'all. Brother, come on the feed, man. Come on, hurry up. It's 1037 over here. You got to come on the feed and talk <laughs> for a minute. I can't. I can't with these people. Did he just make a page? That can't be a real brother. That can't be a mortar that's conscious. Because we don't use the word black. Do y'all know that? Do y'all know that? At all. At all. It can't. Brother, you got to. You got. What they say? Take the nationality card. They need to take his nationality card. I don't think that was. A, I don't think that's a real brother. I'm gonna be real with you, homie. <laughs> this. I think that's him right here. Look, that's him. It's that guy right there. Him. So let me explain to y'all who this dude is. What he does, brother Jabril. He makes up fake pages. He got like ten. He got that. You ever see that movie called Split with Bruce Willis in there? Yes. Movie? That's who the. That's who he is. Split. Which one are you today? I don't know. He seemed to be so. Yeah. <laughs> and, and who's this high? Who's this high now? Now he's high? Yo, that's wow. what he got. That's, that's him. He's he's split. Split personality. He got multiple channels. Instead of bringing all, I want all the people to come on the feed. It's free. Let's see every last one of them to come on his feed. And let's see if they real or not. I'm a psychiatrist, ain't I? I, I just want to talk to y'all for it. Maybe I can help y'all out for a minute because niggas be making all oh my. So all of y'all come up, true me, Naeem Ill, and this person right here. Please, all of y'all come on the feed at the exact. See what I'm saying? He took a picture of me, y'all. Look, that's him too. Do you know that's him, right? That's me that he took my picture because I did a live like that, right? And he's made his profile mm -hmm. page. Man. Fletch, they need help, brother. There's too much sugar harassing. He can't harass mm -hmm. me, brother. He he's harassing himself coming on this feed. <laughs> Cause I'm gonna give you the floor. You sure he's not a competitor? He seems like a competitor trying to sabotage. They call that an industrial sabotage. No, go to law. He can't even sabotage what I'm doing. He can't. Only doing is helping me with more part <laughs> Exactly. Just, Go to his YouTube <laughs> channel and see if he got anything up there. I swear to God, he don't have nothing on them channels, B. Please go to his YouTube channels. Go to the channel and find out. That's scary. Ain't that motherfucker scary, bro? <laughs> That's scary, bro. 
<laughs> he's mentally ill. He is mentally ill. And this is the crazy part because I would love to need a hug. You know, R. Kelly had a song called Heaven I Need a Hug. He need a hug, babe. So there it is. This is what's killing them, bro, because they're not being taught this. It's not Sabir Bay that you should be getting mad at. You should be getting mad at the black conscious people that is telling you that and the black conscious scholars who are disrespecting the ancestors. You talking about disrespecting the elders. The elders are disrespecting the ancestors by calling them black when there is no one black. Nobody's black. No one's black. Don't get mad at me. Put me in a room with them. Then we can all talk. Okay? No need to email me, my stalker. Because all I'm going to do is keep blocking you. But you can come on the feed and talk with me for a second. You definitely can come on the feed and talk to me for a second, okay? If you notice by now, none of this stuff bothers me. Okay? So we're not being taught the oldest university is by a woman. We're not being taught this, brother. And if you want to empower people, let's talk about that for a minute. I got all the receipts for y'all. All the receipts about this. And we can have a whole conversation on this, brother. A whole conversation. Here's the outside of the Medina. Me leaving outside. That's the that's that's the University of Tatooine right there. That's it. And brother, when you go in here, it's mad beautiful, bro. It is so beautiful. Wow. And it's so peaceful inside here. It's so peaceful in here when you go in there. We talk about Timbuktu and St. Croix and all these other places, but it's this university right here. So all of that's why libraries are so quiet. Yes. Yes. The libraries are, are libraries look just like this. Every library in America is set up like this. You know, you don't, and I tell people you don't have to believe nothing I'm saying. Travel with me or travel your damn self and see how long you're gonna last. Brother, stop calling me a nigga because the nigga that stuff don't phase me, brother. Let's be a man and come on a feed. You do email me like a stalker. Nobody wants you on the feed, man. Could everybody tell him to go? I'm going to help him out for one second. Can everybody on the civil. feed do me a favor? In California, we do civil harassment orders. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't need to do that, brother. That's that's still going to the white man. But he can come on the feed as a man and talk to me. But I don't I don't run after and go tell the white man on, you know, I don't do stuff like that. But he can come <laughs> on the feed. Could everybody want him to go? Could everybody leave a comment in the box and tell him to go or come on the feed? Because I don't know why he think names even bother me, brother. I mean, he can come on, but if y'all want him to go with his three channels, y'all can tell him to go. Or y'all can tell him to come on the feed. But I want y'all to see the sickness of certain individuals that's what you would call in our communities. Mm -hmm. So Sabir is not the one you should be getting mad at. You should be getting mad at the ones who don't show you this. You should be getting mad at them. In reality, you shouldn't be mad at anybody. You could dislike them. But the problem is, I know what they're being taught in these schools in the States, brother. You ain't going to have Dr. Greg Carr talking about this. Somebody said they always got to be ignorant. And that's true. Somebody on Instagram saying they always got to be ignorant, but this is just the nature. And this is why I was telling you about that, that whole mouse that, remember that, you see the video about the mouse, brother? How many of y'all saw that video about the mouse? I mean, the rats, matter of fact, they did a, they did a test on rats. Did you see that video, bro? I think I, I may have. have. That video, yeah. the brain video. Say that again. The diabetes of the brain video. Diabetes of the brain. Ah, yes. You see that one. You didn't see that one? Yes, yes. Interesting. Here go. Let me see if I can pull it up. This is this is this is when you just listen to our people and see how sick they are. Yeah, man. This rat is perfectly healthy. Put him in a vat of water and he finds his way to safety every time. Now, look at this guy. What he's been eating is the equivalent of a North American diet, complete with all the fats and sugars we regularly consume. 
He doesn't know where to go. His brain has been damaged. Mm. He sees rats were totally normal, and then they turned into demented animals. They don't remember their learning after even a day. And um, as the challenge gets harder and harder, they fail more and more, just like a human with Alzheimer's disease. 36.2. Now, let me, lab, let me explain it to you. Now is that Alzheimer's is really diabetes of the brain. Diabetes. diabetes of the brain. And we forget that quick. This is why dudes can get on the feeds and talk about white supremacy a thousand times, put it in your brain. Like I said, and if I come, Sabir Bay come and ask you a question, do you feel inferior? And you sit up there, got to go, ah, uh, duh, 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 or you would say no. Because I, Sabir Bay, don't feel inferior to no one at all. I don't care how much money you have. What kind of property you have, what kind of degree you have, Sabir Bay don't feel inferior. So the problem is the educated black person, as Franz Fanon said, is inferior. It's inferior. And nor do I teach separation amongst our people. Have you ever noticed that? I never teach separation amongst our people. But I can tell you for a fact that we're not black people. We're not black. That's a fact. Now y'all can run and tell that right now. <laughs> Go right, tell it. And I'm gonna tell you, it's coming, brother. Listen to me, it's coming, and that's why they so upset. They pissed Bye. because the scholars told them something totally different. Shout out to my brothers from Rabat. Oh, did I just show y'all those brothers? Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, did they tell y'all this? Don't look like nobody mistreating them motherfuckers right there. They don't look like they being mistreated. The brand new. <laughs> they don't look like they being mistreated. Not at all, baby. But Negro the happy believing in it. Huh? They run the store. Yeah. Oh, you want to see another one? Hold up. Oh, Ooh. homie. Hold up. I'm going to show you. See, this is what happens when you stay in tourist areas, right? That's what black people do when they go to places. They say, don't go over here because we got to get that money from these cats. Then they're going to take you in places that actually have you spend all your money. I was in a store today. The dude said to me, he said that he said Chinese people spend stuff. I forgot how he, he said they spend on they spend money on it was a carpet or something. He said, but we keep money in our pocket. I forgot how he, 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 he phrased it, but it was funny the way he said how what we spend money on. What we found valuable, fifty nine ten. I'm gonna right. show you another one, okay? That looked like Little Ethiopia on Fairfax in Los mm -hmm. Angeles. Yup, yup. Oh, I live out there too. I know. Oh, you should see me talking <laughs> to them. Oh, you should see yeah, me you when I'll be there, and I'll be talking to them. Oh, it's amazing, brother. What up? I'm gonna show tell you another him, picture. Tell them what they what they say. What's up, and Father Amdi. Next time you see him. Mm -hmm. Hold up. Give me one second. Now, this brother, I was talking to him about the Moors. He's from the Sahara. Now, watch this picture. This is in the Medina, bro. This is inside the Medina. Give me one second. That's in the Medina. He's from the Sahara. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, man. Ooh. I, know they, I, I know this is hurting them because Ooh. they keep telling y'all about they keep telling you about pale faced people, right? Nah, brother. It's deeper than this. Nah, it's deeper than this, bro. It's deeper Indeed. than this. Another so store on it. This man. Well, I got a whole lot of them, bro. It's it's not even just him. Imagine the recordings and the conversations I have with people about they're doing industrious works. Yeah, these are industrious works. These ain't like gang bangers and Nipsey Hustle. No, these are industrious. I was playing soccer with these dudes. Like the kids was playing soccer every day. They out here playing soccer. Straight up. They're not. This is what they're doing. They playing soccer, bro. They playing soccer. Woo. <laughs> on, so That's imagine, 
you have a person that's on the ground actually doing this work, not going behind social media telling you stuff. I'm listen, I'm gonna tell you the good, the bad, and the ugly. You know what Percy said to his his father told him to be careful, right? He told his father, he said, Dad, I'm more safer out here than I am in the States. That's what Percy said. Wow. And, and he didn't, his father didn't, his father didn't even know that Morocco was North Africa. <laughs> <laughs> But this is, it's not, you know, you know, it's not, you know, it's not necessarily his fault, his father's fault. It's not his father's fault. The thing is that it's the education system. It's us people. It's, it's us in the States. We're the problem. Seriously, we're the problem um, because of the education, because of education. And again, man, I'm not here to judge anybody or throw somebody under the bus it just is what it is bro we got we honestly got to get together and um we got to teach the truth i don't take sides with nobody i'm not for the division you don't hear me call nobody the cracker the white so even though i know what europeans do i don't call people a tether or a coon or whatever that's not what sabir bay do that's what Tariq and umar johnson do if i ever call somebody a tether or a coon please get on the feed but if I call them out, then go share it to them and have them address me. Not you come and address me. Tell them to come and dress me like a man. And we'll see who are who is the real man. Period. Then we'll see who's the real man. Because it has to stop, bro. It, it really do. It has to stop. And I'm not going nowhere. So my job is to teach these people who we are. And this is what I want to bring back to the States. Every time I come here, it's something I get greater and greater and greater. Let me show you Fatima's books, brother. That's her books. This is in the University of Barcelona, bro. Those are Fatima's books. So her books, watch this. I'm going to ask this guy. I'm going to get a random dude. I'm going to ask him a question, right? He might not be able to read it, but give me one second. Let me see if I can get a brother. Give me one second. Let me get a Moroccan. Bro, Pope Shenouda can read that from Alexandria. Pope Shenouda III of the Theban Church, uh, Tawahado Orthodox. I can read it too. That's that's hot. And we also in Coptic, it'll be Coptic and Arabic both. And I'm hard. Now, I got a Moroccan brother, Greg. Come over here, right? I'm going to see if we can translate this. Can you translate this right? This is, you know what this is, right? Excuse me. It's Fatima's books. Yes. That's what I'm trying to. I, I went to the University of um Barcelona, and this this is what they gave me when I went there. And I just left on um, the university, Tatooine, just now. But those are her books. Do you want to buy it? No, no, I can't buy it. I, got, yeah. I was trying to say, can you translate it? Because what does it say on the front cover of it? Like right there. Looks like that. It is not. It is not. You can you can translate this. This. Because it is the names. It's the names? Yes. Fatimas Mahdotat. It's the book for like uh, Mahdotat, like uh, you know, GPS. Okay, like GPS. Like, yes, like this one. I I want to explain it for for like this. Okay. Damn. Yeah, but that's her books. Cause I was yes. just at, I was at the university today. I went to I went up there today. Today? Yeah. I was in I was in Tunis also, where she's from, Tunisia. Yes. But I was this here. Let me show you where I was at today. Yes. Oldest university. Karawin. Karawin in the best. Yep. Yes. The oldest university. Yes, yeah. This is the older. That's where I was at today. Yes. Yeah. I know. It's nice there, man. Yeah. 
<laughs> this is all, all books. All books. Beautiful. Sit down, bro. See, this is the thing, bro. Like, I don't, I don't make yeah. stuff up. Like that, the books is in Barcelona. I went to Barcelona University. They literally had to hold my passport. Literally, I had to come back the next day. I was with Yasim's wife um, at the time, and we were going to the university. And it was random that I said, "Let me just go in here and find out," you know, and let me find out what's going on. And um, I was in another spot. And I was in Marrakesh, right? And there's a there's a map on the wall about Timbuktu, how close Timbuktu was. It was crazy, bro. But this university is older than Timbuktu. Woo. Crazy, mashallah, bro. Mashallah. Somebody what happened to Akibalan. Everybody talks about Egypt, right? My book just came in the mail. How many of y'all ever saw this book before? You heard Sarnetta don't talk, right? So my book just came in the mm -hmm. mail home. I'm not there, right? So let me show you what it was called. Here with me. And see if you ever heard of this before. Y'all can Google this too. It was called, Egypt was called El Fasat. Do your research on that mug, bro. Seriously, go look it up right now, fam. Jabril, go look it up. Go look you know up. I'm on it. Go look up, go look up El Fasat and tell me where is that, bro. Watch this. You know Thebes? Thebes, Nubia? <laughs> where <laughs> Cash Mauritania? You never heard you never heard Sidon and them talk about this, did you? No, no, they're not that educated. They they, they're just laymen. They supposed to be, right? That's where everybody go to his channel, right? Come on, don't get mad at me. Go look up El Fasat and tell me how old it is. It's before it was called Egypt. It was before Egypt, bro. Before Egyptos, the Greek word Egyptos. Yeah, Egypt is, Egypt that's is right. Greek. Pharaoh is Greek. All those terminologies are Greeks, brother. And it, this is the weird part. They got cats calling themselves the ancient black gods of Egypt. And niggas be like, yeah, brother, could be like, why do you think the Egyptians get mad, bro? Why do you think <laughs> Egyptians, listen to me? Have you ever read J.A. Rogers' book, 100 Amazing Facts About the Negro? Have you ever read this book? I have. Okay, so I there's have. a beautiful part. book. Do you have your book with you, um, Dre? I can quote it. Yeah, I don't up? have it with me. Yeah, J.A. Rogers' part where he says the most ancient names for so-called black people are Nisu, Nubian, Ethiopian, and more. Black and white, on the other hand, are European words. Ethiopia, he said Ethiopian and Moors were probably used before the 1500s. Damn, I know that book by heart. Yeah. That's true. The word Moro. The word Moro yeah, yeah. in Sudan is old Kush, it's old Nubia. And Moro predates any university, any society wow. or civilization today on the planet Earth. And they so, were indeed called Moors then. That's no not, vowel that's sound, just Moor. They had to erase the history by calling you black, brother. There is no history in black. I went to the museum out here. There's, it, it's, the, 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 it's called the litigation in Tangier, where Barack Obama was at. I was there also, but you want to fight with me instead of saying, what's, let's bring Sabir over here to see what's on his mind. Where did he get this information from? It ain't from the internet. I didn't find right. it from the internet. So you get through all the Akiba lines and Abuba lines and Bala lines and Bukalani's and all this mother freaking stuff all you want. But share it to your scholars and see if they want to have a sit down conversation <laughs> Cause they love the oh brother's called a keep alarm because the black man was God. <laughs> Nigga, black is not even ancient. <laughs> black is an Anglo Saxon word. Let me make this clear for y'all. I can't make this up. It actually means pale and it actually means albino, yes. Indo European, yes. German. Hold up. That's all they gotta do is have they got their children, they got their, they have their children in the white man's school, right? This is all they gotta do is pick up a dictionary and look up the word white. It's gonna be spelled B-L-E-A-C. B L E A. There it is. So it has no historical whatsoever for African people. It don't. Uh, is it is it ringing a bell yet, y'all? Has no unless these black people in the states got their own little sections that they created and they don't even have a book. Out of all the black power people, you mean to tell me you don't have a black dictionary yet? And I ain't talking about the law dictionary. You mean to tell me you don't have a dictionary for your definitions yet? <laughs> 
you're gonna go right to the white man's book again so let's go to the white man's oxford dictionary then pick uh, up an weird. oxford you said you broke that down they're gonna be like no nah, we don't use black like that we're using it we don't use black like that, brother, but you know, we use it a different way, you know, because the black is the inner and everything comes out of the listen. You can have something dark, don't mean that is black. <laughs> we come out of the, we come out of the triple darkness of the triple darkness of the triple darkness. Negro, everybody come out of triple darkness. Help me out. Am I lying? When you in the in your mother's womb, right? Oh. Do you come out of the dark into the light? That's yeah. right. Every man and every, every woman. Man Every woman comes out of the darkness into the marvelous light. But when you come to the light, Indeed. you ever see a child when a child go like this? Eh, that's black people when they get the truth. That's what happens. Oh my God. Too <laughs> much dark. light. Too much light. Too bright. If you ain't got to respond to him. He already, that's a fake page, family. That's all he had to do is to come on the feed. You do not have to respond to him unless you him again and you responded to yourself. I told you that split personality ain't good at all. So when you come out of the darkness into the light, because everyone comes from the darkness into the light. But the key is the Europeans are your children. I know y'all. And they most of the time are blinded by it. Mm, they're your child. Do this sound like mm -hmm. hate? It's not hate. But well, we born with blue eyes, but our eyes eventually begin to adapt. But, yes. but their eyes seem to remain that way. It but says a lot. I don't know, brother, because they good ass manipulators, brother. They manipulate all them black people in the states, brother. We will give him a degree. We're gonna give him an honorary. We're gonna give him one better than him to make him like he's smarter than the other one and the other one. Yo, bro, this is y'all don't y'all don't realize it when you woke, like literally woke, you start seeing stuff, bro. Like you, I I really think the educated you know, there's a scene in Will Smith movie called I Robot. I don't, I'm gonna give you the scene. Remember in the scene when he Hi. talks to the boy, and it's when he kept saying, "You asked me the right question." Remember he kept telling the dude, said, "Kept saying, ask me the right question.' You ain't, ever, you ain't asked me the right question, right? Y'all don't ask the right questions, right?" So Will Smith also stated in the right. movie, "You the smartest dumb person I've ever known." Remember that part when he told the girl, Ooh. "He said Ooh. you the smartest." Dumb right. But that was to show you with the smartest dumb people. How is it that? You're trying to justify a black thing, not realizing you're still catching the hell when the world knows that we're Moors. And just imagine, just imagine, no, just imagine, mm -hmm. if you just started doing that on every show, every TV station, whatever, you understand the impact. I just walked out here and I said, imagine if 10 of us came out here with fezzes on, the impact that we would have. If I'm one person, or Percy walking with, and I'm the main one that's talking the whole time. Imagine if people saw that. It's not about buying a blue check, bro. It's about you knowing the history and knowing who these Europeans are. Because the majority of y'all brag about how many degrees you have from the same white man school. Every There is no such thing as an HBCU. Now I'm going to give you one. You ready? Please, brother, look this up. Look up the founder of Howard University, brother. Please look up the founder of Howard University. Tell me what you get. Find me a HBCU that's ran by us. Oh, founded by us. One of these big ones. Let me know. I haven't found one. Me, did you did you, you look up Howard University? That's where most people go yeah. to, right? That's where Dr. Greg yeah. Carr speaks there, right? Okay. We so look up Howard anyone. University. See if he ever see if he, see if he ever brought this up to y'all. I wait. You know when you find it. Get mad at Sabir. Why get mad at me? 
because I'm telling you this. <laughs> they want to get mad at me, but I'm educated. Mm-hmm. You ain't find it yet, bro? Howard is a is on a plantation. Yes, it is. It was by General Oliver Howard. That's the name. That's the name right there. General Oliver Howard. That's him. You don't get it. You don't get it yet. General Oliver Howard. There is an African woman in Central Africa and Central gave birth to the daughter with the blue eyes. Yes, we create everybody. Oh, no doubt. We create every goddamn body. Lottie, dotty, everybody. So the Europeans are your children. Y'all just scared to put them in check because he cut y'all a check. So Howard University was founded by a European. And let me give you the name, how what it was called. The university was called the Institute to Train Free Blacks to be Preachers and Teachers. I'm going to take it from the top one more time. <laughs> yes, indeed. You think I'm lying? Oh, you think I'm BSing? Oh, sure, this is Dr. Greg Carr. Let's have a conversation. No, you're right. Let's ask him. He's right. It's called Institute to Train. You don't train human beings. You train animals, my brother. You train animals. You train animals. But let me show you something else. Mm-hmm. This hey, is why they bro, love I got me. the article. You, you won't have it. Go ahead. Go ahead. You say what article you got? I said I got the article Library of Congress is 100. I, I got it on my Facebook page on the timeline, as a matter of fact. You're 100% correct. So how and it, it, and it, it, started, it started like the boarding schools. Yes. To Christianize even, under like Christian black codes, to Christianize yeah. and to civilize. Yes. Mm-hmm. Why do you think there's nothing getting done, brother? All the universities come like that. Yep, they're all boarding schools. Yes. Native native boarding schools. So why do you think you don't hear nothing about this no more? The slavery at Harvard. Look at that. Why you don't hear yep. about the slavery at Harvard University? Because they don't want you to know that the crown gave the grant, the crown of England to set those schools up. The same slaveholders who sanctioned slavery. They don't want you to find that. You'll find the crown of England gave the grants for those colleges, even Yale and Harvard. Bro, I went all the way to Harvard University, right? Mm-hmm. Harvard. And I I sent this to my brother, Dre. I don't know, if Dre, you might have to send it back to me again um, about Harvard. Give me one second. Let me see if he sent it to me. But I, I was in Harvard University, right? And I was walking through Harvard campus. And if you mm-hmm. go to YouTube and punch in Sabir Bay at Harvard, you'll actually see me in Harvard. And I'm walking right. through Harvard. I'm walking through Harvard looking for this information. And they gave me something. And it was talking about how, give me one minute. Let me see if I can see if Dre, Dre sent it to me. I got to find it again. But I had it before because I sent it to him. I'll be sending it to people because I'll mess around and lose all this stuff, bro. But anyway, in this particular article, it talks about the Moor was the first slave. Here it is. I'm going to pull it up, brother. Give me one second. If you go to Punch in Sabir Bay at Harvard, you're going to see exactly what I'm talking about. I'm lying to you not, bro. Punch my name in in Harvard. Salute to the facts, Sabir. Salute. I'm going to show you what I was doing, brother. I'm all the way in Morocco right now. Bear with me, fam. I want you to see what I do, what real researchers do. So I'm going to pull this up right here. That's Harvard and slavery, right? I was at Harvard. And then, bam, give me one second. Have you ever saw this before? I have. You told my, um, they talking about the, the boarding school. Um, um, it's in Germantown. It's not Germantown, it's in North Philly. You now somebody asked me about the school. But I want you to see something. You see that said Harvard and the legacy. We arguing everything else talking about violence, right? But we're not mm-hmm. teaching this to our people. Watch this, bro. Be with me. Now, mm-hmm. I'm going to show you something in this document, y'all. It's about 100 and some pages, 134 pages. And if y'all want it, you can actually pay me. I'll send it to you. Seriously. 
But let me show you something. Give me one second. Let me scroll down to these pages. Give me one second. They over there jamming, boy. <laughs> yeah, bro. Okay, so I'm going to pull this up in one second, okay? Okay. So bear with me. Slavery at Howard. Slavery at Harvard, right? Now, here you go, right here. I want you to see this part right here. You see it? Mm -hmm. I want you to see what it can you see what yeah. I post, what I highlighted, bro? The Moor, the enslaved man and woman known as the Moor, who could have arrived about the desire, was the first of many enslaved people who would serve Harvard students in the colonial era. Titus, Venus, Juba, and Benjamin, and Balala, enslaved people served Harvard presidents Benjamin Wadsworth, 1725 to 1737, and Edward Holyoke, 1737 to 1769. Yet more people were enslaved by Harvard stewards and in this capacity likely served Harvard students and maintained its campus. You would wow. think people would be mad at this, brother. You would truly be, you would think people would be mad at this, bro. So when I went down there, right? That's why lady, Harvard just lost their brand. Exactly. But this is what the lady was telling me. She said, nobody never came to Harvard looking for this information. This is what she told me. I was in Harvard, bro. Like, I do real work, bro. Like, I really be putting this puzzle together like, God damn, brother, this is kind of crazy. But when I went there, she told me this. She said, wow. she, she, was, she said, she told me to go to another building. And if every, let me, let me help y'all just in case y'all think I'll be playing. I love to show and prove what I'm doing, bro. So be with me. And this is not braggadocious, but I want y'all to understand what it takes to do this. Watch this. Wow. Let me show you something. Incredible. Now I'm gonna take you to I'm gonna take you to YouTube, right? So y'all can see what I'll be doing. And I'm on campus asking people about this. Right. You see this right here? And, this and they've it. never seen it. No, he they wondering where the hell the question's coming from. Watch this. This is me at Harvard. This is the lady. I'm talking okay. to the lady. So it's like Harvard, Harvard, Harvard University Law Library. Library. Lady at Harvard. System. Just Google okay. it. H -O -L -L -I -S. Okay. Let me just see what I can. It was cold that day, too. And she's telling me what room to go to, bro. <laughs> she's telling me what room to go to. Where to find this at? <laughs> Dude, I sat in here for like hours. And this is what she's yeah. showing me. Wow. She's telling me to go. Okay. Let okay. But y'all don't want to hear this. You like cats to pull up stuff on the media. Um, Harvard's uh, was called. Give me one second. Pull this back up for you. Did you give me like exact results? Yeah. I'm going to scroll back through it. Harvard and slavery. Harvard and slavery. Yes. And this is not a book I'm reading, people. This is me in these places. So when you see me walk through Harvard, right? I'm walking through Harvard talking to the students that's there at Harvard University. And to come from these places that go over here in Africa, where I'm at right now, to do this, I just make it look easy, bro. But it's hard as hell sometimes. No sleep. And it's like 11.14 right now. 11.14. You know what's funny, Shabir? You see how um that book, uh, Republican Party and Racism or whatever, or slavery. So uh, California is talking about giving people reparations. But California no, it, didn't. No. 
No, let me tell you something. Newton said no. Gavin, President, that governor said no. No. That's well, what I got documents. <laughs> well, I got yeah, documents on that. Um, uh, California did not have black slaves. They had white slaves. So exactly, they, they had reparations. They would people gonna get so mad when they start giving white people reparations and they ain't getting nothing because when California was started, they were not trying to let no black people come over there, according to that book. But yeah, it's, it's hilarious. But they ain't going to Harvard and asking for information. They're bucking up the wrong tree. But but see, this is the thing, brother. As long as they can get a little bit of money out of this, brother, they good. Jabril, what's up? What's that? Jalil, what's up, brother? I met Jalil when we was in, um, what you call him? Marrakesh. But yeah, man, give me one second. Let me see if I can pull this up. How... So-called black people had slaves, bro. Negroes had slaves too. They had slaves, and this is the one thing that black folks don't want to admit. That's they had slaves, bro. Huh? That's blasphemous to say that. How would you say that out loud? Because it's true. I'm not making this up. It is. Don't get me. Don't. Don't shoot the messenger. Actually, black people own more slaves than uh than white people at one time. But see, this and is it the can be confirmed. Of... Black masters, white slaves. Yes, but this is the thing, brother. This is the type of stuff they don't want out to people. And what's going to happen when people really get this information, family? They're going to start attacking these dudes, brother. And if you can't see that they're attacking them right now, y'all got problems. I see it. It's happening. So bear with me. I'm going to show y'all something. Okay, you got your book, "100 Amazing Facts About the Negro Jabril or Dre." Oh yeah, Jay Rogers, hot book. Okay, let's go. Fire. Let's go. Let's go there for a second. Did they, did I give them enough time for the scholars to come on my feed, y'all? Did I give them enough time? I think I gave them enough time. I've been on it for like an hour, right? So they could have all shared this to the scholars and they could have came on here and rebutted anything I'm saying. I hope y'all share it out. Share it out. Share it out. Twitter is real severe bay. So this says in 1670, Virginia passed a law forbidding Negroes from buying white people. This was 51 years after the Negro had arrived in chains. The same law was repeated in 1748. Free Negroes bought white people and in such numbers in Louisiana that the state made a similar law in 1818. Somebody make that make sense to me, brother. You can research everything that I just posted up here. Somebody make this make sense. But y'all let people have these so-called rallies. Talking about, brother, we got a rally for Negroes to get reparations or blacks to get reparations. If they get reparations, they got to give it to them too. You know how many of these Europeans run around and talk about cut me a check? That's what happened in North Carolina. That's what happened in North Carolina when they received the first reparations claim under the Trump administration. And that's also what's happening in California. That's why they also increased the wages to $20 an hour. It was supposed to be for the reparations committee was granting that to black people, but like you said, it is a status that is just a status and a corporate artificial status, 14th Amendment status. And so you see all peoples are persons are now enjoying that same wage. See what I'm saying? As if they were uh, being compensated for reparations of our ancestors, but that's not the case. And so North Carolina. Go ahead. Yeah, North Carolina. Uh, preceding that, uh, also brought a claim in the city, uh, one of the major cities in North Carolina under the Trump administration, and basically I, we were able to conclude the same, that uh, it's an artificial status, a 14th Amendment status. There was nobody to handle the money uh, of the so-called Black nation or their representatives to disperse the money either. See what I'm saying? There was no embassy. There was no consular post. There was no consular court. But you see what I'm saying? Part is what they were saying. They're going to get the money 
they're going to get the money from taxpayers. A lot of you there it is. They're going to get it from taxpayers, bro. That's what they going to get it from taxpayers. Oh, I, I read. I got the. That's bills what Gavin Newsom just said. I got the. Gavin bills. Newsom just said that they didn't have the money to you know finance that with the current taxes to, and revenue that California is currently generating, and it would be a heavy burden on California to pay out those reparations, like you said. This is the current reparations committee. It's nine members sitting on the council right now out of Sacramento and San Francisco. They meet right here in California. Brother, how could people, and I'm serious, I want to be serious with y'all. How could people say that we don't need to know the law? Because I was on Dominique the Prima show, brother. I don't know if you saw Dominique the Prima show um, on KBLA. And everybody told me I, I should go over there and do a show. I was, before I left LA, I was on Dominique the Prima show. And um, I literally like told her about that. And she said, you don't want a check? I said, I said, a check. I said, a check is not money. It's not, it's not money. Federal Reserve notes, another IOU. They don't ever look at the bills. It says note at the top. But they, they say they know how to buy a house and and to get a mortgage and in the rent, but at the dude, top of the mortgage, look what this dude did. Say he, look what he did, brother. He took another picture of me. I want y'all to see this dude that I keep making these pictures. This is the most childish thing ever. He took a picture, he takes my pictures and make these pages. This is the sad part. This this is what uh, we deal with. This is the most saddest thing ever. Instead of being a man and come to the feed, you gotta do stuff. That's Dude, that don't bother me, but I thank you for making these pages. You admire the hell out of Sabir Bay. I thank you so much that you admire me that much that you take photos and you do childish things like Tariq. Now, you can tell you watch Tariq Nasheed's videos, right? All of them are family on white people. Yeah. Family somebody family said, dude, was, no, look, somebody on Instagram said, he is mentally sick. My people yeah. on Instagram said, dude is sick. He's mentally sick. Wow. Sick. This Sick. guy is insane, bro. This is what you got to deal with, bro. Instead of, if I got beef with anybody, I ain't going to call you a tether, a mother effer, because I don't know you. But I'm not going to call you out your name. I'm going to talk with you to find out why. What's so, the issue with Sabir Bay? You should have the issue. I told you, I'm not the one that you should be mad at. The one that you should be mad at is the ones that lie to you. Yeah, um, brother, the brother said something about they, they appropriated the funds, but they didn't have a nation to distribute the funds out. Is that what you said? Yes, that? that's a <laughs> oh, he was talking, that reply earlier, uh, when you were talked about the reparations. And the black guy, I, I, when I said that they didn't have an embassy, a consular court or a consular post or any representative of the uh, the black nation, supposed it, right? They're supposed to, supposed to be existing uh, to distribute any of the reparations to the peoples in North Carolina when they did say they were receiving them. I just want the people to hear. And you can look it up. North Carolina reparations. If you get the money. I have all the bills, bro, like literally. I have, and guess who was writing some of them? People from the NAACP. Can't make this up, bro. When I go, go watch my videos about two weeks ago. You asked to see me talk about it. Nah, brother. You said the NAACP? You're paranoid, brother, because you, you, this is messing up your flow right now, because that's all you have to do is say this to Tariq Nasheed. Okay? Instead Did you say the NAACP, Sabir? Yeah, NAACP. There's a lot of people that had their hand in that, bro. It's crazy. Go right, but did they did they even distribute any of the funds either? No, they didn't get no money. They're not getting no money. Newton, Gavin Newton said he's not. So they're just acting as an embassy. That's it's not a real embassy. It's got to be a corporation. I got a brother named Mike that actually works in the UN, and he shares a lot of stuff with me. Um, I'll when I get back, I'll bring him on the feed, but. He he's a brother that um used to come to my classes in Long Beach because I used to give classes in Long Beach, and he used to come mm -hmm. to my classes. Now he's in law school. I never choose to go to law school, but he's in law school now. And um yeah, it, it's it's kind of crazy though, brother. But we we as a people, brother, 
we we are in our feelings on golly bro we are straight in our feelings and you know i ain't gonna stop if i'm wrong about anything you can dissect this take this apart i say i speak in my videos for a certain a certain way and for a reason brother so when you try to chop these videos up you're going to hear me repeat it again a couple of you know down the line a different way so um i am going to go to take a nap y'all i got to get up in the morning um i gotta go i'm in robot right now i'm on my way to tangiers tomorrow but i thank y'all so much if y'all love this content please do me a favor right now share this out on x on x and also please support at the cash app and the paypal also and um because i gotta i'm gonna relax man it's 11 25. please let me get a little bit of sleep okay all right all right brother so i don't know why peace and love that. peace and love peace brother but yeah, do some research y'all reach out to me my email severebayradio at gmail.com i'm going to put the email up here again email your boy and that's the zelly in the paypal but brother i gotta go and relax okay peace bro share the videos out